Hey guys, welcome back to Power Apps Learning Channel. In today's video, we are going to look at how we can generate the barcodes in bulk using simple applications like Excel and Word document. So in real time scenario, what would be the use cases where you need to generate the barcodes in bulk? So let's say in your organization, you want to generate an inventory for your assets. It could be furniture or it could be devices like laptop, mobiles and everything. You want to have the barcode generated and you want to track the information of each and every asset. Where is it? To whom it is allocated? Where it is located and all that. So you can just generate the barcodes and stick it over to the device. And you can use the Power Apps. You can build your own application using Power Apps to scan the barcodes and populate the information or update the information. So you can have your own inventory application. So for that, you might need barcodes in bulk if you have thousands of uh, assets in your organization. Similarly, if you have events or if you want to uh, generate the passes for daily meal vouchers or events entry passes and all that. So for that also, you might need to generate the barcodes in bulk. So let's see how we can do it easily, very, very easily with the help of Excel and uh, the Word document. So what we need to do, I'll just show you. For example, if you have an Excel file and if you have the information of the, the information which you want to convert into barcodes. So I have taken some random numbers. These are my uh, asset tags. I want to convert these numbers into a barcodes like this. So that I can just print it on a glossy paper, I can just laminate it, uh, I can print it on the sticker paper and just uh, cut it and stick it on each and every furniture or each and every uh, electronic device. This having this barcode will of course will help the organization to track uh, each and every asset. So how can you easily convert this Excel table data into a barcodes like this? So let's see, let's see what are the steps you need to follow. So I'll just open the blank word document. Uh, let's assume that you already have a table. What you need to do is just go to Excel, create your own table. Make sure you uh, give a name to your table so that it is easy to identify and give proper name to your uh, the column. <coughs> okay, so this is my Excel sheet one asset tax is my column. Now let's just go to, let's just create a blank word document. So what you need to do is you need to go to the mailings, go here, start mail merge, look for labels. So this labels is nothing but it will give you an size labels is like stickers kind of stickers. So you need to define, uh, there are some vendors available depending on these list of vendors and the codes you can choose what size of label you want okay so i'll just go ahead with this one what i have so i'll just select this it will if you want to change the size of your uh, label you can also modify it you can change the size of it so if you look at it you can see it will show you here okay what is the height width you can change it so let's just select this once you select this, you will see that the table has been inserted. Just to see it, select uh, the border. You can see, okay, the table has been inserted of this size. So each sticker, each barcode will be of this size. You can anytime change this uh, depending on what all content you are going to put it inside the, the barcode. Now next step, let's see here. Okay, so what we did, we have just added the labels. We have selected the label, which is a size of barcode. Now you need to provide the data source. Now again, go to mailings, select recipients, use existing list. You need to provide the list. Uh, the, you need to choose the Excel file, which you want to uh, use as a data source. So this is my uh, Excel file asset tax. So I'll just select it. Once you select the file, it will ask, okay, this is the sheet, which are you, you want to use? If there are multiple sheets, it will give you an option to choose. First row of the data contains column header. Okay, now the data source has been mapped to this particular uh, table. Now next is you need to insert or you need to choose, okay, what column 
uh, have or contains the data which you want to convert into the barcode so if i come back here what we have done we have selected the data source now next is we need to insert the field code okay so there is uh, there is a feature available in the word document wherein you can write a syntax there are some predefined functions available you can write a syntax which will automatically convert the information which you are going to pass uh, to that function it will convert into the barcode so this is the function what we need to write so i've just copied it here already so i'll just copy this you need to hit the control f9 once you hit the control f9 you can paste it here inside just remove this uh, curly braces which i just copied it so what we have done uh, i've just copied this this is the the syntax display barcode there are various options various sizes or various uh, types of barcode you can generate i'll show you the list of it how which, which all type you can choose the one which we are going to generate is of this type code 128 there are some switches we need to provide like you want to show the the barcode the content what you are converting it to barcode the data do you, the size of the the barcode symbol you can pro, provide that so there are some uh, switches available you can use that now display barcode type of the size there are some switches now which column or which column from your excel file contains the data which you want to convert to uh, a barcode so just again go to mailings insert merge field you can see this this is my column asset tax which, which have appeared here automatically because we have bound already we have bind it to the excel table so once you click that you can see it already it's already have converted this to uh, the barcode so let me just toggle this so once i toggle this i'll just remove this let me align this properly and just select this home align it center so what happened once i clicked on the insert merge field i'll just go back here so once i clicked on this insert merge field what it did it entered another um, syntax here merge field and then the column name you can anytime change this if you have another column you want to choose another column you can change this so display barcode merge field column name the type of the barcode and then the switches now just right click toggle field code you can anytime uh, toggle field codes if you want to change anything right click toggle field codes okay so here now how you can apply it to all the columns or cells in the table again back to mailings i'll just uh, what you need to do is update labels once you click on it it will apply to all the rows and then click on preview results so this will give you so if you see here look at the the barcode um, the asset tax three four five seven eight nine nine zero nine one nine two that's what we had here three four five seven eight nine nine one nine two okay so now that's how you can generate it you can of course design this uh, barcodes the way you want for example if you want to add your company name let's say Microsoft LTD that's my company name for example and then if you want to add something else at the bottom as well the company phone number or anything company address you can do that and then again um, toggle fields update labels it will get applied to all the the barcodes well i think it was very quick and easy you just have to uh, use this mailing tab go to start mail merge add labels choose your size you can anytime change this size for example now there is a space here at the bottom i don't want to um, i don't want that space so what you can do just go to table properties uh, row specify height i'll just change it to 0.9 inch so you can see it can easily you can change it and it will get applied to all the cells okay 
it fits here properly now so these the barcodes are ready you just have to print it uh, again let's say if this is not really I don't want it that big go back here to mailings update labels will get applied to everything well that's how you can generate the barcodes in bulk very easily from your Excel table to the Word document um, using this mailing tab uh, select recipients, select your Excel file, select your data source, insert your column where which contains the asset tag numbers, use update labels to reflect it to everything, all the cells, preview results so you can preview it here, just print it. Or you can even save this file and send it to anyone. They can easily open it without this Excel file um, and they can print it or send it to external vendor who is going to print it on the glossy paper let's say back to presentation uh, yeah step 3 control F9 you can insert the syntax then se select the the column which have which contains the data which you want to convert to barcodes now as I said there are some switches available uh, which you can define for example there is a slash T backslash T uh, is a switch which will define okay do you want to display the barcode data on your uh, barcode or not so if you want to show it you have to use this switch slash t if you don't want to show it you can see it here uh, if I just remove this in the example 2 I have removed this backslash t then there is no uh, the barcode data is not sh shown here um, below the image the another switch is backslash h this will define the size of the barcode symbol here you can see the first two examples the size is 900 the last example is size is 1450 okay so there are some switches which you can make use of uh, to design also there is four color background color there are plenty of uh, let me just show you the microsoft site here okay the field codes and there's a syntax here you can pass the arguments and let me show you the type of barcodes you can generate different types of barcodes so these are the switches as i said Just one minute and here are some examples you can also generate the qr code like this okay so that's it in this video i hope this will help you guys uh, it was very quick and easy uh, you just you can just easily convert your excel tabular data into the barcode and just get it printed and use it um, in your organization if you have any query just put it in the comments i would be happy to answer thank you so much for watching the video